Okay. Oh, so hi. I, oh, hi. Hello. Welcome back. So I've got a question for you. I am a lazy creator. Like I don't, my house does not have all of the crazy canisters. My house does not have like everything laid out perfectly. How often do you see that in when you're staging a house? Like how important is that stuff? Like all the matching okay. canisters and all the matching this and all the appliances with the same damn color. This is such a great question. <laughs> Thank you for off the Tide Pods. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So this is part of what I do. I go into your home before we have even decided a listing date or scheduled photography because we have to have this initial consultation. Let's say you're not selling. You're just Ashley and you want me to come and do a stage to live. And <gasps> you say. That's a thing? Oh my God, yes. I could Shut totally up. come to Texas. Oh, God, and I desperately need been, that. Uh, yeah. And I say to my client, you start pouring wine, I stop charging. So if you want to pay me like that, I'm going to Texas and do a stage till it. Oh, it's on. Okay. <laughs> so with the canisters, here's the deal. When I go into your home for the initial consultation, I am shopping your home as if it's my store because I am an occupied staging specialist. I do not have inventory and I do not want to. I have worked with a company before where we had a warehouse and 50 rugs, 20 sofas, accessories for days, a thousand kind of dishes. When you have to pull that every time for a different home and it's a specific style, it's terrible. So I love, and not to mention somebody has to pack it up too, which oh, also yeah. sucks. There's a lot of overhead, there's movers, there's trucks. This, what I do is so much easier. I go in and I only use what you have, unless that I see a wood grain dining room table that is matching the same wood grain in the floor. I want there to be a contrast in between there because they get lost. And also it brings in the coziness. So I say, if you're moving, I say, what if we make an investment and we go to rugsusa.com, rugsusa.com, you're welcome for this shout out. <laughs> But I do love their inexpensive, high quality, fantastically styly rugs. I use them in my personal home. Love it. So I say for a few hundred bucks, let's get this rug. Or if they have absolutely no money to spend and they're completely strapped and they're going through a terrible, terrible divorce and the husband or the wife doesn't want to help with any of the selling of the house, I say, fine, let's borrow it. Let's steal it. Let's you know, go to get one, a used one at a thrift store or whatever. So when it comes to canisters, back to your initial question, I, another thing that I put up with, with my husband, because I really like him a lot. He wants to have the spices and the cooking utensils in the thing next to the stove with the knife block. And after, there's so much crap on the counters. I can't even like see anything. Yeah. So to you, I say no canisters unless you have to have your hands on them. But literally the canisters are sugar, flour, rice, pasta, put it in the pantry. I think having less on your countertops is way better. 